And so we know that through hands-on and through them being involved and having it be an engaging curriculum, it's a good time to reach them. <laughs> What does a typical lesson include? We review uh, what we've done the week before. We talk about what foods go on what spots in the food pyramid. We introduce the lesson, introduce the geography element, um, the recipe, the ingredients. And then we also have a literacy part of it. We have a book or music or writing, art. We move to the tables where they wash their hands. We have little bowls of water and they sing a hand washing song. Yeah. <laughs> Then we're ready to get started on them doing their food prep, which could be tearing, cutting, chopping, mixing, stirring, measuring, uh, counting. And then after they get done, the fun thing is that they get to actually eat it. So we try to incorporate all of their senses. We encourage them to look at it and smell it and taste it and touch it and what's the texture of it. I got me myself a burger. <laughs> As I shadowed the Food is Elementary program, I noticed that Local Matters does more than educate the children. Local Matters builds a community of support for their program and goals. We do not do any advertising and we don't do outreach to the schools. So it works best when the parents reach out to us. We really wanted there to be as much community ownership of the program as possible. The support that, that I have felt has, has just been tremendous. We make sure to connect with parents as much as we can. We talk with the parents regularly. We send home uh, newsletters once a week. We, on the back of each newsletter, we'll have the recipe so that the parents can then try the recipe at home. I'm truly thankful. I wasn't preparing certain foods because I didn't think my kids would eat it. And then when he tells me, can we have this? It's really making an impact on my family. I was volunteering on a weekly basis and then ended up um, asking if they had any jobs uh, with the program because I thought it was so wonderful. You can volunteer from the website. They send him flyers you know, from the kids' classes. Do you have any opinions on what the strengths of the program are? The group mentality of everyone kind of doing it together. It just, it, it makes it a little bit better, you know, better than mom and dad like pushing you to try something. They're even bringing a lot of the um, knowledge from the classrooms to the adults as well. Um, creating healthy living groups because of course if you don't also have that with the parents then it's only going to go so far. How important do you think a program like this is for children? In this day and age it's hugely important. I mean health and nutrition has went out the window and we have everybody to blame for that. We have us as the parents to blame, healthcare professionals, doctors, blame the companies that make the food. I think everyone has a part in the problem, so everybody should have a part in the solution. Would you like to see more programs like this instilled in more schools? And not just at the K-1 level, fifth and sixth graders and all of them too. I wish every school had it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much. This program looked and sounded wonderful, but I wanted to know how the most important consumer felt the tiniest consumer.